Hello everyone and welcome to Imperian Galactic Survival 1.10. My name is Rakuna and I posted a poll to see which planet I started on. And of course, you guys like to see me suffer. Either that or you just want to give me a good challenge. And you legitimately want to see me do this start, personally. Uh, what do you think, Rick? I do agree. I think they like to see me suffer. <laughs> That's okay, let's get started. So we're gonna go in survival and we're gonna choose Ashen to Orbits. Now we can go in the difficulty settings. Now start equipment, I like to keep it at uh, medium. Toolbars item only that I keep on death. Play progression normal, degradation speed normal. Food consumption, oxygen and temperature radiation impact, I keep it at normal. Amount of ore per deposit normal because uh, vanilla has a lot of resources. I'm not gonna run out of it. Number of deposit normal, auto miner depletion true i don't really play with auto miners to be honest i like to just collect the resources manually by mining or just by salvaging bases when i'm done with them enemy difficulty i leave it at medium because when you get to those level 10 pois uh, they are hard enough as it is especially when you're playing alone overall drone presence let's leave it at normal for this start drone based attack normal constructor craft speed i like to speed things up a little bit blueprint repair speeds i usually put that at instant because i don't like waiting for i don't know how long for things to be repaired blueprint spawn limit i leave it at fall since it's single player i can't break the server with the size of a build block limit for certain devices false i want to have as many turrets as i can <laughs> as long as it doesn't bust the cpu i am fine so mass volume i leave it at yes cpu points as well unlock check in blueprint factory yes let's leave it at that and game name is going to be Rakuna's demise yeah very confident i am so let's get started attention all breach leave this area immediately Okay, wow, right off the bat, I start here, no oxygen. Oh, crap, it's it's cold. Why can't... Oh, I'm not even on a seat. I thought I was on a seat. Okay, uh, <sighs> over here, temperature, it's okay. And, uh, yeah, this is the planet we're around. Phew, that was close. Did we make the jump with the fleet? I can't see any other ships anywhere. IDA? Yeah, IDA. IDA! And, uh, yeah, I'm glad I don't have to call you uh, Anna or Sasha or whatever the frickin' hell it was. Anyways, let's go check out what we have in here. We do have a medium armor. Yay! And some boosters, hover bike constructors, and small O2 oxygen. I, I think I'll need that. Let's uh, grab a little bit of stuff over here. Uh, we can leave the hover bike constructor and all that here for now. I don't think we'll need that just yet. Let's uh, check the situation here. Okay, got an armor. Uh, insulation boost is gonna be needed. Radiation protection and maybe a little oxygen boost as well. I'm sure none of that is gonna protect me against the freaking brutal cold that is outside. Well, we're gonna have to do with. So what does this have to say? Ship systems damaged. Life support failure is expected soon. Control system defective. Repair possible. Current location unknown. Connecting to suit AI. IDA not available. Uh, what about the sensor logs? Sensor logs are retrieved. Loading. Two logs found. Unknown structure. Planetary data. Two. Show logs. Uh, what about the unknown structures? Unknown orbital structure discovered. Communications are being analyzed. No UCH code. Searching for name reference. Found. Ashen trading outpost. Location. Added to database. Mark location on HUD. Ashen trading outpost located. Marker added to radar and HUD. Thank you. Thank you very much. So let's go through the sensor logs again. I want to see what is this uh, planetary data. Lava type planet. High gravity. Extreme temperatures and radiation to be expected. Minimal signs of technical structure. Lava nascent moon. Attention. Detection of active weapon signatures. Hostile forces to be expected. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that sucks. <laughs> so what about the cargo list? Containment CPEH-1. Controlling device. BCMO2W8, supplies and biological matter. Container M6, medical supplies. Container WAB6, equipment. Containers ASCP4, MFN3, PSG3, OE2, CMO23, building materials. Dinghy, 
Small vessel UCH start. Connection lost. And what about our dear IDA? What the hell's going on with her? Accessing integrated data assistance. Damage. Rebooting. Reconstruction started. Duration and decompletion unknown. Well, that's, uh, that's a gr great news. Right, okay. So, uh, how are we gonna get out of here? How are we gonna get out of here? Okay, so we got oxygen in this room as well. We do have, uh, uh we have cheese. We have cheese. It's great. I better find and collect all those floating containers, too. I'm yeah, just gonna go drift off in uh, space a tad. It might get a little cold, just a smidgey. And, uh, yeah, okay, we got our two station right here. Now we can go down. Uh, that's the core. It's set to public. So, that's great. The explosion destroyed the cargo hole and scattered the containers in space. I will need a detector to find all the containers. Uh, don't, don't I have a detector? Oh, look at that. I got a detector. So let's grab our survival tool. Uh, maybe a weapon and... I don't know. I don't feel like I'm going to be shooting a whole lot in there. So let's wander around and apparently my suit can withstand temperatures up to one th minus 130 degrees. I don't think so. I feel like I'm gonna get cold real quick. So I better go collect all the resources. Uh, but there must be a box somewhere here. I need to repair the ship and find or make a working warp drive if possible. Nothing easier than that. S sure, sure. So we got a container cargo bay. I don't know what the freaking hell that is. Uh, whatever I pick up out there, I better transfer everything there ASAP. And uh, food as well. Now I know that the resources are scarce, and we're gonna have to make do with what we have. Oh, there's a there's a container. Well, oh, there's containers everywhere. Freaking hell! Ah, stuff. Let's go and uh, oh my god! All right, so it's basically just drifting out in space. That's a uh, that is perfect. I feel like I'm in Breath Edge. Which I had the chick from Beth Edge that would be just spurting out weird messages. Alright, I'm getting cold. I'm getting cold. Alright, let's head back. We're gonna get our heat back. Uh, I don't want to die immediately. No, I don't want to do this without dying once. No deaths for me. Alright, alright. Well, get, get over it. You're, you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. So let's uh, transfer everything that we've collected so far in here. Wait a second. Wait, wait, what? Didn't I send more stuff in there already before? No? Maybe it was, uh, maybe it's just me. All right, let's go in for another swing. Uh, this one's been done. I don't think I've done this one. I might have, yeah. Anyways, there's some that are far away. If I could get myself, like, an EVA boost or something like that, that would be, uh, that would be great. Ah! Destroyed small vessel. All right, so that's our objective. That's what we need to go and collect. Oh, nice. Look at all this stuff. All right, maybe I got a time for another one before we start freezing our asses off. And, ooh, look at that. Ashen Trading Center is over that way. We'll have to go there soon. All right, come on. I'm too young to die. I'm too young to die. Everything's fine. Well, so far, um... Uh, Besides, like, uh, <sighs> flying back and forth all the time, it's not that bad. <laughs> I was expecting worse, but I am, uh, I'm doing good, I, th I think. All right, let's ping and let's go for another one. Did I check out this container straight ahead? I just gotta make sure. <laughs> That's the one I just checked, I think. Yeah. Maybe one of these will have an EVA boost. If that is the case, that means I'll be able to, uh, Swing around in space uh, without dying as much. Yeah, without dying as much. Oh, look at that. Uh, we got a... F I got a seat. No, I don't want to sit in the seat. Not just yet. Did I collect that? Fuel container. Uh, all right. I got three fuel in that. Okay, so uh, I think I've gotten all that I'm supposed to get from everything down here. Ah, uh, okay. Great. This is... uh. This is going fine. Everything's okay. Now, uh, apparently I got some seeds. I don't know what to do with the seeds. I really don't. So we got a little bit of O2. Uh, yeah, we still don't have anything uh, regarding an EVA boost. 
Maybe a multi-boost uh, will help with the heat a little bit. Probably not a whole lot, but it's gonna be a little something else. Okay, now we got this whole ship that we could probably salvage. Now, the only thing I don't want to do is poke a hole in the wrong place. And from what I see, I am player level 4. I <laughs> got 20 unlock points. Uh, I will have to see what I can do and what there is left on the ship over there. So for that, I am going to have to fly, head straight over there. Well, maybe straight. I mean, I'll take detours to see if I can find more stuff in these containers. Oh, nice. Oh, freaking. Okay, there are some boosters in there. Not exactly what I was expecting, but still, boosters nonetheless. Am I willing to take that risk and fly all the way over there? I don't think so. Not just yet. I want to have a little evaluation I want to check out this small vessel and see what it needs to be able to at least take off oh shit uh, devices oh cockpit fuel tank and generator all right let's make a quick uh, fly back I might not make it <laughs> I might not make it that might be my uh, first death in space if I get hypothermia it's gonna be uh, hard to get out of that one <sighs> Oh yeah, hyperthermia. I'm freezing my butt off. Let's go inside. Okay, okay. I'm still alive. Whew. Alright, that was a close one. Now tools. I can unlock multi-tool. If I can make one of those, that would be absolutely fantastic. <sighs> and I can. Let's make a multi-tool and uh, I guess I can only make one set of multi-charges. It's going to give me three flips. So with that, I should be able to salvage some of this ship here and get some of the resources I need to make what I need to fix up this uh, SV in a distance. Now, I know I did a post asking for you to, uh, you know, supply me with some ships. And I've already gotten a few things in, and it's kind of looking interesting. I'm looking forward to see what other submission you guys will send me. Because, uh, yeah, for now, I'm going to have to build a, some sort of a scrap SV in which to get out of here. But... When I get to a planet, of course I'm going to have to bring in your HVs and SVs and CVs, and uh, that's going to be really fun. I'm really looking forward to that. So right now I need a fuel tank. I also needed a generator. Do we have a generator? Well, I got a cockpit over here and a generator over here. Okay, so I don't need to unlock anything. Now, from what I can see here, I can build all three. And for good measures, I'm going to build myself an O2 tank, just in case. I'm going to need to put some O2 in there. So with all of that done, I'm going to set everything down here to the shortcut bar. Ah, of course I can't. I'm just carrying a little too much for now. I'm going to have to put some of these away for now, and I'll retrieve them a little later. Now what matters is I have these three Prometheum fuel packs, and I got a little bit of oxygen. The one thing is I'm going to have to go over there, slap the cockpit at least, and the fuel tank and the generator, put some fuel in, and then come back here ASAP. I don't know what the thruster situation is on that back of that uh, SV. We're going to have to find out. So let's go for it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh right, now it's warm. Now it's warm. Uh, can I get out of atmosphere? There seems to be a minimal energy signal here. It's coming from one of the mountains. I should take a look. Uh, get out into space! Get out into space! What the hell? Oh, okay, it's high gravity, but I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Okay, no, freaking power off. Power off. Oh my god, I'm just gonna drift in space. No, power on! What was I thinking? Oh my god, this is terrible. This is terrible. I can't turn. I can't turn. Power back on. Can I Can I kind of turn and stop drifting away? Oh my god. Okay. Where is it? Oh, it's all the way over there. I am making things worse for myself. Well, uh, I'm not helping with my situation here. I am not helping at all. Oh, crap. 
Uh, I, I'm, I'm back. And, uh, where's my ship? <laughs> okay, so I was able to respawn in the nearest location. I, I could probably, now that the ship has stopped, I could probably turn it around and try and head back over there. That is what I'm gonna do. And maybe the temperature will have, uh, kind of heated up inside the ship. Yeah, let's grab all that. And what's the temperature in here now? It is uh, minus 18 and warming up. So, <laughs> wow, that was uh, that was kind of weird. But uh, hey, we made it. Uh, now, can I put some small oxygen bottles in there? Yes, I can. Okay, can I can I turn now? I have no no way of turning this thing. Oh, wait a second. I, I feel like oh no, don't go forward. Go go. Yeah, okay. If I move forward, I can turn left. I could turn left only. I just don't have any uh, way to stop <laughs> after that. I'm gonna try and return to our little place there. I could try and hit the the trading station, uh, but I don't think that is where I want to go. Now, the only thing I gotta do is try to crash inside of that place, but I, 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 I think it might be a little harder than expected since I can't really turn. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go around Turn like that and counteract uh, my thrust right now. Oh shit, okay. This is hard. This is really hard. Okay, okay. Crash, at least crash in something. Crash, crash into the ship. Crash in it. We can do it. Or crash in a container, anything. Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna be spinning around like this for quite a while now. This is stupid. <laughs> Hey, I asked for this. I asked for this. I know I'm very well responsible. Maybe I'll hit it. Yep, that that was close. That was close. I'm just spinning around it. Okay, another attempt. Another attempt. I freaking... Oh, there you go. Oh, uh, well, shit. This is not better. This is not better. Okay, am I stopped? It, did I stop? Well, there's this trading station. I am slowed down now. I am slowed down. Maybe all I can do is try and crash land over in the scout. Go for it. Oh, crap, I missed it. I don't want to go in the planet again. And, oh, okay. That is close. That is close. Am I moving away now? I'm moving slightly away. Maybe I can kind of turn. I mean, I'm going now, uh, I think, five meters per second. So, it has slowed down a bit. I, so, I can take my time. Just give it a little forward thrust. And try and... Just stop with the ship. There you go. Uh, getting there. <laughs> getting there. I'm getting there. All right, let's try again one time. Now, I just gave it a little bit of power, just so it would push me in a general direction. Hopefully, I can just kind of stop the ship right here. Yeah, okay. Pretty good. And we've stopped. All right, so after all of this uh, weird turmoil... <laughs> After all this trouble, we finally made it back. Who knew? Who knew? I, I'm working with two freaking thrusters here. So, yeah, it is a little bit more complicated than I expected. So, now it is time to go and send a drone out and let's have it collect a little bit of resources. So, I got my multi-tool charges. I can connect to the scout and let's go for it. Uh, you know what? At least I'm not doing this with a freaking survival tool. Ooh, thruster. Yes. That is probably going to give me some of the great uh, resources that I'm going to need to fix up the ship. And by the looks of it, it needs uh, quite a bit of fixing. Yeah. Needs a lot of thrusters and needs a lot of blocks. Well, I accidentally uh, deconstructed the gravity generator, but uh, yeah, we won't need it anymore, right? We won't need it. I suppose this landing gear should give me some good stuff. And do we have any thrusters behind this? No? Okay. So, by the looks of it, uh, there was only one thruster on this ship. <laughs> only one intact thruster, which is not good. Not good at all. But there are another couple of uh, resources. I'm not touching the fuel tank, nor the oxygen tank, and the uh, generator. I don't want to mess that up. Otherwise, all of inside is uh, not going to work. I mean, right now, everything is still okay. Well, how's the situation with this? We're still running on a little bit of fuel and a tad of oxygen as well. 
So as long as we stay in here, we're relatively okay-ish. Now, with all the resources that I've collected, uh, first of all, I need to unlock the uh, small thrusters. And I might as well get a fridge ready. Yeah, cargo boxes and a fridge. And a detector would be greatly appreciated. So first of all, I'm going to see how many of these uh, thrusters that I can make. I'm going to need as many as I can. And by looks of it, I could only make one. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to use it to uh, be able to stop. So I suppose I could probably just uh, stick it up front here. Just like that. And I could put like a little great on front now of course I'm gonna need a little bit more electronics maybe I can get it from some of the components inside of here uh, there isn't a whole lot that I can work with this armor locker I should leave it there and everything in here I see that there's a flashing light maybe I can get some electronics from that and that should allow me to make myself another thruster and I will have to make myself also a detector. That's going to come in handy. I'm going to need that. Now, of course, I want to see where to put the thruster. But I thought there was a thruster that was pushing me on the side. At least one of the side was helping me rotate. But where? Is it because the thruster was on the right here? Is that it? it was kind of letting me rotate? Well, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself two of the large cargo containers here. I'm going to put him one on each side. That way I'll be able to bring uh, some of the equipment that I have uh, from this place. Now, thruster would go over here usually, so I'm going to put it right smack. What? Did I not put the container in the same place? That's stupid. And there you go. And for now, I'm going to put this thruster right over here. Now, uh, yeah, for the front, I wanted to put this uh, little walkway. Put it there. That way it's going to kind of hide the thruster. Now what I could do is I can select upgrade blocks to uh, actually fix the broken blocks in here. So yeah, they look whole again. And because I can, I will build myself a couple of these uh, steel blocks there. Uh, a couple of, uh, you know, 10, 20 might be enough to actually uh, bring back the ship to its, uh, well, as close as possible to its former state. And we can't forget Wi-Fi. We need Wi-Fi. But I don't think I can make Wi-Fi. I'm missing electronics. Is there other electronic-y things in here? Besides from lights, right? Well, you know what? We don't need this ventilator. No. It's got some uh, optical fibers, and that's pretty much it. But, uh, yeah, we didn't need that. And you know what? This clone shaver can go as well. <laughs> They're not giving me freaking what I need. That sucks. So, to begin with, I'm just going to do a little uh, patch-up job. Basically, uh, taking what's on one side and just rotating it and making it work on the other side. At least it'll look that, I, that I have a semi-functional ship, right? And there we go. I think that's about it. There's not much more that I could do. I don't think I want to repair these things, though. Eh, no. I'm just going to salvage these bottom parts. And eventually I'll have to put some landing gears on there as well. Not to on each side. Uh, apparently I could probably do a little bit more over here like that I know it's not perfectly symmetrical and all that but at least a ship should work and as long as it takes me over to the station I should be fine and maybe along the way I'll be able to find myself some more uh, stuff that I can use to fix the ship now first things first I'm gonna try and grab as much stuff as I can oh that's right I made it a detector <laughs> That's right. Let's just uh, slappity do that thing right on top here. And I don't know, can I reach from here? Yes, I can. So let's go and chuck some stuff inside of the uh, containers as much as I can so I can carry everything with me. There's one box full. And let's just fill the rest of the other box with the uh, rest of the knickknacks. And uh, did I not Did I not put my fridge in? Did I? <laughs> I thought I made a fridge. Well, you know what? Apparently, I used all of my uh, electronics up. Hey, wait a second. Wait a second. I mean, these elevator blocks, they must, uh, yeah. Just, uh, not, not the blocks that I needed, right? Oh, that's a, that's a core. I'm getting some optical fibers. Can I make some electronics with that? Yeah, so I checked everything in, and apparently I can't make an electronics. I actually need some copper ingots to make some, and, uh, yeah, I don't... I don't have that. 
So, right, that was a false alarm. I guess we're gonna have to uh, get the freaking hell out of here. We're just gonna transfer the stuff back into the ship and we'll see where we can do from there. Okay, so we are kind of ready-ish. I can stop. <laughs> I got a pinger. I got a pinger, that's great. Oh, there's Zarex over there. Yeah, let's not, let's not do that. Let's not mess with them. Okay, okay, yep, I'm gonna be drifting off in one side no matter what happens, so uh, let's just vaguely head towards the uh, trading station and see what we can do from there. I can't, I can't go up. I, I gotta, I gotta rotate or oh, I'm gonna have to put some RCSs on here. I really need some resources. I really need all the resources that I can get. So we're approaching the Ashen Trading Station. You know, it's just a kind of dock there, which might be quite complicated. <laughs> New mission available to good business. To start the mission, talk to Station Manager Baron. You can find him in his office on the upper levels of the station. It's, uh, it's, it's great to know. Uh, I would like to go. I, I really would <laughs> if I could just kind of let myself get closer. Oh my god, this ship is crap. All right, all right, all right. There's a landing pad. You can do it. Crash in it. And that's pretty much how we do it here. Oh, great. No. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to leave it floating in, in space. There you go. This is as well as I can land it. That's where you're gonna stay, sir. You're not moving from there. Okay, so, uh, hi. Hey, how you doing? Are you... Are you friendly? I see you holding that weapon and looking at me. All right, put put the weapon down. All right, I'm not gonna hurt anyone unless you guys shoot first, and I won't I won't hesitate to defend myself. Oh, hey, hi, hey, how's it going? Uh, I was stranded in space for a while, and uh, I managed to get myself out of there. Yeah, I got myself out of my uh, sticky situation. You guys have food. I'm I'm peckish. I feel like eating a little bit. All right, elevator up. This is uh, probably. <laughs> Probably I need to go to the main hub. But first of all, let's squirrel. A little squirreling never hurts. So we got ourselves a lot of uh, a lot of soldiers pretty much wandering around. But at least it's a little better here. There's other people. It's uh, it's quite nice. At least it's a uh, good temperature. <laughs> I'm not stranded anymore, I think. All right, this is a this is a busy place, right? Ooh, you guys have a teleporter. Can I use? Uh, I'm not even. I can't. What? Okay, I'm currently a uh, neutral reputation, so I can't use the teleporter. Oh, hello, sir. Communal use constructor. All right. Well, what what do you have? Uh, what's the? Yeah, please show me your offers, sir. I have zero credits to my name. Can I have a couple of electronics? That would really, really help me. You're actually buying a computer? Uh, you know what? I will sell you said computer. Give me the credits. The only thing is you're not uh, you're not buying any of the good stuff, right? You're not buying any of the good stuff. Okay, fine, fine. So, repair station. I could use... Oh! Freaking hell. Speak of the devil. I got my electronics. I could probably make myself another thruster and stop drifting around in space as much. That is amazing. What do we have? VIP area? Hey, sir. And I see you're typing on your computer. Is there something wrong with your back? Something Something seems weird. Wait a minute. Let me just... Okay, maybe it's just from this view. The shadow is something. About... I, I was thinking your back was broken or something. Okay, so, uh, yep, yeah, nice little... Uh communal area very nice very nice indeed got bathrooms I could uh, I could sure go for a freaking shower and apparently I can't look inside of this uh, vanity but I could take a I could leave you guys a little souvenir and what do we have over here Ooh, orbital lounge uh, hi sir uh, can I have a room please I'm uh, I gonna use a little bit of rest here oh, okay fine you don't want to talk to me I don't want to talk to you either. And you, I don't even think there's a point in talking. Can you please step away? Jeez, the manners. Uh, what What do you have, sir? What do you have? Small uh, health kit, you could buy some. I mean, I could make a little bit of money out of one of these detox kits and actually be able to buy myself some more components. Yeah, that could be kind of interesting. Can you please stop that? I, I don't care if you have the best crew in the galaxy. Nobody cares. 
But, uh, yeah, I'll take some of that freely. And I suppose that up here is uh, where our dear friend is. Hi, hey. Uh, yeah, show me your offers. Oh, I got, I actually have some seeds if you want some. I got it all on a ship. I just, I just don't have Wi-Fi on it. Not yet. And uh, there's something wrong with this picture. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Hi, hey. Uh, hey, you're Baron, station manager. You're the guy I gotta talk to. Hello, future customer. Welcome to the station, Omega 87-2, on a Prime Trade Federation. Please excuse the current inconvenience. The station is not fully yet operational. However, we would like to provide you with the best service possible. So, how may I be of service to you? Uh, uh, I have a few questions. What do you want to know? Have you seen this logo before? Show me that in more details. Hmm. No. It doesn't look familiar. Although, wait. One of the new programs once showed a similar symbol. But that was about a standard year ago. Where was it again? Ebi in Elo... Elyon, yes. You should go to the Elyon system and there directly to Omicron. That's where I think the system administration is. They may have more info. And why is the station on high alert? Unfortunately, this is currently necessary. The local warlord, Frisus, has been challenging us in this solar system for some time. His troop captured all stations and facility on the moon, and I'm quite sure that he has also taken over the refueling station at the edge of the sector. Since our communication is disturbed, we can't count on outside help at the moment, and we expect that he will try to board and capture the station at any time. Well, I am looking for spare parts. Unfortunately, I can't really offer you anything. The station here is new, and is not yet optimally equipped. But in the lower hangar, there is some scrap from the construction phase that we have to dispose of. If you need something from this scrap, or can fix something, it's yours. If you want to sell components, talk to our dealers. They will give you a good price. At where can I find some supplies? Talk to our merchants. As long as their stocks last, we can sell you from our supplies. There should be some surplus ice in a locker container on the lower level. Our tanks are full and we can currently spare it. Regarding fuel, there are some refueling stations at the edge of the sector, and you should be able to find what you need. With a detector, you should be able to find them, but you should expect hostile forces. Oh, great. I mean, the ship is fully equipped to deal with that, right? <laughs> Where can I find Pictaxid? There are some crystal fields on the planet below and on the moon. Pentaxid is only available in larger quantities at an abandoned mining base on the other side of the sector. There's still some to be picked up there. It could be dangerous because the Warlord's combat ships are likely to be in the area. You should only go there if you have the proper equipment. Uh, I need components for warp drive. That could be difficult. We have not received spare parts for shields and warp drives for weeks. The only source of titanium and cobalt are found down on the planet. Neodymium is only found on the moon. However, the planet is a high-gravity hell, and a trigger-happy warlord has taken up residence on the moon. Whether you want to risk that, you need to know. Better be prepared. That's all for now. Thank you. The satisfaction of our customer is primary concern. I wish you every success and good business. Goodbye. Well, okay. I guess that, uh... <laughs> You guys are still on top of each other? I mean, get a freaking rube. Don't look at me like that. Jeez. So we got some traders around. This is pretty much how I'm going to be able to fix up the ship. Uh, this guy is actually selling some biofuel. That's not too bad. But an EVA booster. Ah, you're just buying them. You suck, sir. You suck big time. What do you have? Okay, this guy is selling weapons, uh, weapon kits, and some ammunition. Good to know, good to know. So first of all, let's go downstairs and see what type of scraps they were talking about. And we can always use the constructors here afterwards. That way we'll be able to make our thrusters, uh, the missing thrusters for the ship. And maybe actually put some weapons on there. Well, I think I'm going to leave you guys another surprise. There you go. So let's go and head down. down. You know, guys, there's a floor here, right? I don't know why you're all... Uh, Oh, you decided to join the party. Oh, freaking hell. Why not? I, I can't. How do you guys do that? How do you do that? Oh, whatever. So, let's go down one floor 
And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Seems like this planet's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Alright, so, uh, I can't loot in there. Uh, is there any place I could... Okay, you are here in engineering. Is this, uh, no? I can't... No? No? Where are the resources that I can take? Damn it. And container? No? Okay, there seems to be a door here. That's gonna be going down below. Oh! Suspicious escape pod. Hi, security robot. Okay, I can't take any of this. And, uh... There appears to be a lever. Not allowed. Use TSO, Ash and Core. Uh, you, you know, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna... It, although it is tempting. Yay, a, a, sh a ship! <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is, uh, this is what we got? This is it? How much room do I have? Maybe I can pick up this thruster. Yep, just the electronics. But, uh, you know what? I'm gonna scrap what I can from all this in a small generator, right? This is... This is the supplies you have for me. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, I have enough room to pick it all up. So, let's just grab it all. Alright, so since we got that, we got a little bit more electronics. And I believe that is all that I had to do down here. Oh wait, bay door right closed? Okay, there seems to be another little area over here. Maybe I could actually get my ship in here and use this to repair. Get this piece of junk out of the station and someone fix the code lock of this container. If the inspector sees this, you'll be in serious trouble. Real Commander DSP. Right, does that mean I can... Uh, Ooh, burger! I could, I could freaking use that. <laughs> we got, we got some ice, some hot beverages, and it's, it's not exactly the resources I've been dreaming of, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. All right now that we've grabbed that, let's go back upstairs. Yep, door. So, all right, all, everything that I pick up, I'm just gonna slap it over in uh, this container. Why did I pick that whole thing? Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Not for now. I'm just going to transfer everything in here, and I'm going to see what I can build with everything that I've collected so far. So, yeah, I'll be back. All right, so I've transferred everything that I could. Wait a second, there's, there's some, uh, ooh. They have some other stuff in the uh, station. Maybe I can collect, right? No? Probably I wouldn't be able to. Anyways, from what I see here, I could build myself, uh, first of all, a Wi-Fi could be interesting, but I can make myself two more thrusters. Or just one. Apparently it's just one. Crap. What am I missing again? Electronics? Alright, we'll have to buy ourselves some electronics. And to do that, I brought all the seeds that I've collected. Yes. Hi, Aunt Mary. How are you doing? I got some seeds for sale. I got one of these. I got one of these. This. And one of this. So that gives me a little bit of money. A little bit of a, a, a game. <laughs> 330 credits. I just wonder how many electronics I could buy with that. Hey, sir. Yeah, show me your wares. How many can I buy? Oh, I could buy quite a bit. And I think I need to buy 11, to be precise. Just 11, and I'll be able to make myself two more thrusters. Yeah, let's uh, give it a go. Hopefully, I will have enough to do the remaining thrusters that is required to have a fully stable ship. No, apparently I could only do one. Now it's nanotubes that's gone. <laughs> Hi, sir. Yeah, it's me again. Got some uh, nanotubes. I'll buy ten of them. Ten nanotubes. My god. I've never been through this type of experience to actually be able to build myself or just fix up a ship to begin with. It's kind of ludicrous. <laughs> it's funny. So with all of that, I got myself three thrusters. Uh, not bathroom again. Not the bathroom. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to my ship. At the same time, I'll be able to install the uh, Wi-Fi now. And this way I'll be able to transfer stuff from the container directly to my ship without having to move it all around. All right, kind sir. So I know I needed a thruster right smack over here. I know I need some uh, lift thrusts as well. I'll just smack that over here. And I need uh, one uh, thruster pointing up. Uh, I don't know where to put it. Uh, I could put it right here. Smack it there. I know it looks a little ridiculous, but I should be able to navigate this ship uh, a little bit more efficiently. Yeah, that's that's working. I need our RCS. <laughs> I need some RCSs on that. 
Uh, it's it's good so far, except it won't turn worth crap. All right, let's go and uh, land our ship inside this time. Yeah, let's do that. Now, the only thing that I need to uh, sneak in there now is a little bit of Wi-Fi, and I could put that right in the back over here. I don't know where I'm going to put a warp drive. It's probably going to be sticking out of the ass. That's probably what's going to happen here. Now, the next thing I think I want to unlock is the Gatling turrets. But the only problem, again, is uh, probably not enough resources. I still need more electronics and one motor. Now, I am running dangerously low on money. I can buy a motor and I could buy two electronics. Is that enough? <laughs> I think I think that is uh, flush exactly what I need. And I need another electronic. Oh, poop. But I think this guy buys uh, computers at a very reasonable price there. I think he buys them for 70 each. So let's sell two of these just to get a little bit of money back. Let's buy ourselves another computer. Uh, well, not a computer, but electronics. Let's slap do in there and let's make ourselves a little bit of uh, ammunition. But uh, yeah, ammunition without an ammo box is uh, not going to be super effective. Uh, crap. I would need to have this and, and this unlocked. I don't have any more unlock points. Ah, shoot. Well, that's not good. I'm going to have to gain a level. So for now, maybe by exploring around, uh, we, we should be able to get some more experience points. Now, uh, if I add this Gatling turret, I don't know what it's going to look like CPU wise, but we'll have to give it a go. So yeah, I'm going to slap one Gatling turret over here. Eventually, I'll have another one on the other side. Right now, CPU is looking perfectly fine. We are good. We actually have our crap ship uh, up and running. Ugh. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go head back to the other station, the one that we uh, started at, and I'm going to loot the crap out of it. I'm going to salvage it, basically. That's, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. I am, uh, first of all, did we actually go and collect this uh, a container that was quite far away? I just want to see uh, what we missed in that one. I remember, that was a container was a, a little out of reach, and we never got to, to get it. <laughs> Let's see what hides inside. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, slow down. Well, it's got some better stopping power now, so that is uh, great. What's inside our container? Uh... CV cockpit? Uh, great. Uh, fine, fine. A CV cockpit indeed it is. <laughs> Why would I want that? Why? But guys, I believe that is all the time that we have for today. In between episodes, I'm gonna go and salvage the crap out of that, bring the resources back to the station, and see what we can build with that. So guys, until next time, please take care and stay safe. Raccoon out.